What's going on, man? Once again, I'm back. It's day nine of my 90 day challenge. Body by Vi, of course. Just wanted to um, give y'all a quick update, man, and holler at y'all a little bit as far as um, as far as just uh, ambition is concerned. You know what I mean? Um, it's a very, very instrumental part of when you're trying to get this challenge going. Because first off, you got a goal set out as far as looking better and feeling better. Um, and I'm I'm gonna talk about a, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the money, or a lot maybe about the money in this uh, video, just because it is a very big uh, instrumental part in this company you know um and with that being said the thing about it is and as far as what we wanted to talk about money because the compensation in this company man is so great but and, and they put it you know and they got this thing really wired down business wise and put me in a whole nother ass in a whole nother mindset to where i'm considering the stuff that i'm even doing on my business level as far as on the dj side you know what I mean? Let alone as far as what I'm going to do with this company. But even on the DJ end of things, this they, they really are making me kind of sit down and kind of question a couple of the moves I've made and what I should be doing. You know what I mean? And and also, with that being said, I'm going to say this. I know it's somebody that's possibly watching this video that don't like the job. They got to wake up the goats in the morning. It might be somebody that's possibly watching this video that worked their butt off in college that now got the career supposedly that they're in and they still don't like the job or the career choice that they may have chosen. And I'm saying that because of, I remember when I was that person, you know what I mean? When I wasn't able to do DJing full time, I remember being that dude. I remember going to some of these big corporations, you know, working my butt off, man, coming in as a temp, you know, basically, working so hard that I, I should have earned my position in the company, but not having what it so-called took to get there or however it went. You know what I mean? And, you know, eventually, of course, my motivation back then when I was, when that was going on was that, you know what? I want to, I want to now, you know, be a business owner. And I know that now, you know, that's what I was saying. Like, you know, seven, eight years ago, I said, you know what? I want to become a business owner because I know it's somebody out there that's just like me that got potential and can't get on with these companies or don't like the job they go to every day. You know what I'm saying? I know that it's, it's somewhere that, you know, they got a job where they might have to sit down all day, but they can't do things that make them comfortable. You know what I'm saying? There's some of these jobs out here, man, they don't want you to have a radio or something to that extent like they don't want you to feel comfortable out there at work you just they just want you to just be a machine you know what i mean and that was my thing man it's like dog i'm a music dude before dj came around i still had a lot of music around me if i'm gonna do a job i need something going on musically it has to be some kind of rhythm going on somewhere whether it, whether i'm working in the kitchen and some pots and pans clicking whatever like something gotta be going on man music wise that's just the type of person that i am but you know, I know it's that it's people that that's you know out here working, man, and they don't feel comfortable at their jobs. Like they they hate feeling like they're a machine. You know what I'm saying? Being when and told to do this, do that, do this. And don't get me wrong, everything works like that in the course of business because of course with work there's production, there's momentum. But it's just that you got to make people feel comfortable, man. And I just I just told myself back then that I wanted to be a business owner that made people feel comfortable, man. But that also was good at what they do. You know, regardless of what business I open up, because I want to open up multiple businesses. And that's that's my ambition. One thing I will say, that's my ambition is on as far as talking about this company on the money end of it. Because like I said, they're gonna pay me to do something that I was gonna already do in the first place. And that was try to get as many people as healthy and on the right path as I could. So that's why I have to talk about the money end of it because it's gonna help me to get people looking better, feeling better, and you know, hopefully even provide them with some other opportunities on top of that. And also, man, with my ambition and my dedication, I have to um, say, man, I'm dedicating my 90 day challenge to my grandmother. All right. Fannie Mae Day. Born right here in the South, man. She, <laughs> My grandmother was something else. She passed away, man, three years ago. And um, I'm, I'm going to have to tell y'all as far as why I'm dedicating this to her is for two reasons. 
as you know, like I said, I'm trying to go out here and, you know, make people feel better and look better. And that's one of the main things that my grandmother made sure she did pretty much every day while she was on this earth. You know what I mean? My grandmother wasn't a person that was really concerned about money. She wasn't concerned about how people look. She was more concerned about how you felt and and if you was going to church on Sunday, of course. But she was <laughs> she was concerned about how people felt. So if you actually came to my grandmother's house and never met her before, she was going to try to make sure you left that house with something. Whether if it was an apple, whether if it was a anything, whether it was from food, whether it was uh, anything that she had that she felt that you could use, she was going to try her best to give that to you. Because that's just the type of person my grandmother was. She just she wanted to make people feel warm-hearted, man. You know what I mean? She knew people out here struggled every day. You know, health-wise, financially, anything. She just wanted you to feel good. And um, that's where my, a lot of my giving coming from. And that's where I'm coming from, like I said, in, from a state of just wanting to make people feel better and, and, and look better, you know? And so another part of what I'm going to say is as far as me getting into this company on the health side of it, I, I think I may have spoke on, spoke on this a little bit in my last video. My grandmother passed away unhealthy. Hurts me because she, she, had, she, she was on that diabetes battle and I didn't know what to say to my grandmother. I didn't know you know, any, anything I could do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to tell my grandmother. You know, I, I just knew to try to console her the best way that I could. But I honestly hated the fact that my grandmother is over here struggling with this thing, man. I'm having to take her to the house, take her to the uh, clinic and get this dialysis. I'm having to bring her home and seeing how weak she is. I'm having to do all this stuff, man. And I, I, don't, I do not have an answer for her. You know what I mean? So I'm saying all of those things because, like I said, I, you know, the health is important, man. And here it is three years later with me just trying to get myself again for the second time healthy again. And just thinking about that time when I didn't have an answer for her. You know what I'm saying? That It, it sticks with me continuously to this day. And just like I may have said also in a previous video, Another thing that sticks to me and one thing that really, really hurts is how when I first joined this company and I first made up my mind that I was going to, you know, try to get people as healthy as they could because I'm trying to do the same thing for me. One of the top people I, I've, um, I wanted to get to join this company was my grandmother's best friend, which of course ended up being my next door neighbor. And the same day that I signed my paper up, I signed up to buy the buy buy. She passed away that weekend. And, um, you know, and, and part of my, and part of my matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. You know what? I'm going to dedicate this to my grandmother and Miss Jordan that passed away. They both had diabetes, man, and they both passed away unhappy people, man, because they was unhealthy. You know what I mean? So, matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to try to make me up some kind of pad or something, man, just to motivate myself. You know, I don't know, put a stick in my car or something, but I'm, that's who I'm dedicating this to, man. Because those are two people that was in my life. Those are two people that was pretty much lived their life happy, but they lived it unhealthy. And they got to a statement where I couldn't help them. So I'm going to make sure I dedicate my 90 day challenge to them because I'm honestly going to go out here and try to help as many people as I can, man. I don't even think there's any more much to say on that. That's my ambition. That's what these are the things that I'm telling y'all right now that's driving me to do better and live better. You know what I'm saying? Provide opportunities for other people. Try to get people healthy and back on track because I know we make. We, I know we eat messed up. I eat messed up with you. It's just thank God that it's a product that's came out that's allowing us to still eat how we want to eat and still be healthy as long as we treat that product and use it the way it's supposed to be used. Thank God, man. Because I know if this was out when my grandmother was still living, I could have. I could have. Um. I could have helped her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that this is the cure to the world, but it's a. It's a step getting there. I know that. Especially if you are already healthy or, or and you know what I mean, are you early in your unhealthy years? Because if I know, if I knew, if I could have caught my grandmother in a good amount of time before any of that happened, I knew if I had this product, I could have helped her. I could have helped my grandmother. My grandmother would have still been here. And just, and I'm saying that because here it is, 
the same day I signed my paper, one of the first five people I thought about, I was going to try to give this product to. I know Miss Journey, man. She didn't have money like that. I was just going to give her to it for free. I was just going to give that to her because I wanted her to be able to go outside and walk up that street and not feel bad. You know what I'm saying? And not feel drained. It's terrible. It's, it's crazy, man. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little serious on y'all, but I, things are running through my head that I'm thinking about, and these are the things that I'm passionate about. I just wanted to share this stuff with y'all. You know what I mean? Every video isn't going to be like this. Every video isn't going to be emotional, man. I just wanted to go ahead and just pour my heart out now so we, so I can have fun on my 90-day challenge. You know what I mean? Go ahead, go ahead and get that camel off my back. So I'm going to keep on um, putting up videos. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I know some of y'all just watching this. That's why I had to say that because I know some of y'all like, man, fresh is so, oh, my God, is he? What's wrong with them? No, I'm I'm good. I just <laughs> I had I just had some some visions that popped in my head right then. All right, but those are the things that I'm honestly passionate about, man. So, you know, that long story short, I'm here, man, for the ride. You know what I mean? So, like I said once again, if y'all want to ask me any questions about, uh, you know, nutrition, fitness, you want to ask me more about the Body by Vibe products, you know how to reach me at uh, DJ Fresh dot body by dot com y'all know how to get in contact with me just get on my contact list i i i put everything out there you need to know just holler at me um i think that's pretty much it man so i think i'm gonna just holler at y'all next time i'm about to go in this walmart <laughs> try to figure out what i'm about to eat so i can uh, go and work out in a minute that's just what it is man so uh day nine this is a wrap